Cloud computing. Let's try and demystify this concept and bring it out of the clouds and into a sense of reality. Another more complicated term for cloud computing is software as a service. And I guess there's some uh, clues in that acronym. It is all about providing software to organizations and individuals in a manner which reduces the complexity of running that software in their world. So the internet has created for us a virtual IT department, if you like, uh, which spans the globe and has been a phenomenon that I think we have only just begun to scratch the surface of in terms of how it can change our lives and the practical applications are visible to everyone. But cloud computing is one of those that organizations are grappling with to understand how it really adds value to their world, which is still largely dominated by an infrastructure which they have to house on their premises. So they have data centers with servers and networks and physical computing equipment for historical reasons. And much of that was around even before the internet was very popular. Now companies are able to offer that same software over the internet or over a closed network. Um, a term for that is VPN or virtual private network where you can limit the access. Um, so it doesn't have to be fully open to uh, the internet as a, as a fully public global environment. So whether it's paying people a payroll system or whether it's running a GL or whether it's uh, processing purchase orders, any of that in theory or even down to word processing, um, creating documents, crunching data, any activities within an organization that people perform on software on their PCs can be hosted in the cloud. And the decision to move some of that software into the cloud and really at the business level that's all that one needs to worry about because there will be an IT department still um, that will obviously make sure that works effectively. The user themselves whether they're locking on to and Google has Google Docs and you know, Word for Google etc and many of these things which support small medium enterprise etc where they maybe don't want to invest in heavy uh, corporate level licenses but the user will still use that software on their PC the fact that it's connecting to a server on the other side of the world being hosted in a data center that is accessible anywhere else in the world through the internet is irrelevant to that user now obviously you have to manage laws around data privacy and regulatory controls, etc. And there are some that are quite prohibitive and that cloud computing firms and vendors are having to work with to, to understand how they can offer it without compromising those regulations. So presuming you've sorted those out, if the organization sees value and reduce cost from hosting, having those software programs hosted in the cloud, it means they don't have to have that server now located in their buildings. And that server will occupy some space in a data center, which requires electricity and rental costs and people to keep it running and overheads that, of course, are used for other servers as well, but have largely become a cost element which companies are starting to question. And in a very cost-conscious cycle of the economy, every element of cost is being revisited. So why wouldn't you consider something that is offered to you where you only pay per the actual usage of that software? And that is how cloud computing is offered. And if you then only need to pay a certain number of salaries per month and your payroll system is hosted in the cloud, so to speak, you will have the parameters and the configuration set up for your specific business. But because that company offering that hosted payroll service also supports a number of other companies, we all share that cost. But if you have to set up a payroll system and own the full bucket of IT costs, that can become an element of your IT budget, which you then start to, to question. So, so hopefully that's put it a little bit more 
simpler than I think a lot of the material out there um, creates. It is simply about making software available to the employees in an organization um, over a network that could extend outside of the actual borders of the company uh, within which they work. And employees at home are already using the cloud. And social media is in the cloud. And their Dropbox is in the cloud. They host their documents in a cloud environment. And they have access to the latest and greatest data center technology. Um, there are many other examples of this. So in some senses, you know, companies also need to catch up. If you talk about the business applications of, of cloud computing. And I think they will, but I think it will be at the right times for the right reasons. Audio Jungle.